The painting shows a man talking to a young woman. The woman is dressed in an exquisite silver satin gown which immediately draws the viewer's attention to her as the focus of the scene. While the man is in military dress and holds a finely decorated hat on his lap, next to the man sits an older woman drinking wine, seemingly uninterested in the conversation between the man and the girl. A young man with a sword hanging from his belt shares a room with two young women. He directs his gesture towards one of them, whose face we don't see. We don't know what they're talking about, but it's easy to see this as a scene of some kind of courtship. In the 18th century this was named parental admonition, as if the man was the father of the woman that we see from the back. At first people thought this was a conversation about fatherly advice to a daughter. After many years, people came to know that there were several copies of the painting. One copy was found in Germany. When it was cleaned up something was found that went untoticed in the other copies. There was a coin in his hand. This painting was about a transaction at a brothel. The painting illustrates what happens when we are presented with a picture, missing just one essential detail. It can trigger a lie, that we tell ourselves. The best lies don't stop at half-truth. They are almost completely true. Born in December 1617 in Zwolle in the province of Overeersel in the Dutch Republic, he received an excellent education from his father Gerard de Borch the Elder, also an artist, and developed his talent very early. The inscription on a study overhead proves that de Borch was at Amsterdam in 1630. One of the interesting things about Tibor is that his paintings were copied practically more than any other Dutch artist. But nobody ever managed to paint the sense of shimmering quality of satins that Tiborg managed to do.